You're gonna show us three stylish looks, but since it's cold outside, as the song goes, she's showing us the trends with coats. Because we're all about, that's what people see most of, right? That's you talk right. about the cold weather, you're not really seeing those cute layers underneath. It's all about what's on the outside. First impressions count. What are we looking at here? Beauty yeah. and a lot of faux fur. Now the thing is, loads of designers, like I'm talking Michael Kors, Gucci, they are boycotting real fur. So it's all about faux fur. The fake fur. We are loving it and it's everywhere. So you're thinking about coats and all other details as well. Now are you ready? Okay, come on out. That's gorgeous. Right over there, baby, I'm the star. Look at you. Look at the show. The stroke. I'm sorry. How Isn't soft it amazing? Is that? It's so soft. Oh my God! You're like, I'm a, like a teddy blanket. bear. Oh my God! <laughs> Funny you say teddy bear. It truly is it the really big is. trend. It's, it's literally so like a teddy bear. It is it a really teddy bear. Is. Now the thing about faux fur, it can be a little bit bulky, right? So you want to think about a few things. One, get one with a belt on it, so you can tie the belt at the back. And then and you that give you cinches silhouette. the waist, exactly. yes. Exactly, or even at the front, but as long as you've got something. Um, and then wear something streamlined underneath, you know, something that's monochromatic underneath helps. Yeah, and love a that. slinky little dress. Also, think about the shed test. Now, this is kind of a fun one. When you're buying a faux fur coat, take it and give it a little pull. If, this, if it comes off in your hands, it's gonna not be very good and you're gonna leave a train wherever you go. This yeah. one is a great one. It's fantastic. It looks fabulous on you. I would you. have never considered wearing fur. Right? Fur. 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 Always fur. Because I'm an animal lover. Okay, okay next trend. trend. That's Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner. Whatever Kendall does is a trend. Yeah. Bright. So bright. Bright. Brights are back like the 80s. Like the 80s. Yep. Definitely the neons. Definitely the brights. Electric colors. Bright pink specifically. We are loving it. It's all about statement makers. So we're going to now see one of our viewers, right? Tara is wearing, I assume, some bright colors. Come on out, Tara. Oh, so cute. Such an 80s flashback. I am in high school. I have not worn this bright of a color since high school. So really? Yes. Exactly. Totally. Well, you should wear it more often because it looks amazing Thank on you. you. It does, I and I love, love the it. black and white prints, Anna, with the pop of color. Right? It gives it a little pop, and if you want a little bit more of that, you can pop it here. Wow, and I love look a little at you. Color. You know, it's a great color to wear. You, it, neon is good, but it's also a little bit scary. This is kind of a happy medium. It's something that's a bit more timeless as well. The pink will last you yes. to next year. And also, it's not a really trendy shape. Even it's not like a bomber jacket. This is something no, that's going to stand the test of time. No, it's not screaming like, look at me! Exactly. Right. And it's, it's like, it's classic. Hey, yeah. It's right. It classic. breaks me out of my normal black outerwear, and I feel like I could walk the city all day in this yeah. and feel great. And on, I love and the pink beautiful. lip too that they yes. did with that. Nice Doesn't that match really nice? That, great it, little it, denim it with great. it. Kind of keeps it, grounds it a little bit as yeah. well. Dresses it down, but then the elevated shirt as well. I think it's just such a cute, like really brunch chic. with the girls. Look. I love the look. And she really very chic. Okay, next trend. This is fun. Let's do the next trend. Let's see the next trend. So, oh, there's Jennifer Lopez. God, oh. she's stunning. So oh. I'm guessing that this trend is a cape. You are right. It yeah. is absolutely. We're talking capes, but we're not talking cloaks. We're talking capes. There is a difference. <laughs> Let's take a look at our viewer, Jasmine, trying out a cape. Come on out. <laughs> Hello, Audrey Hepburn. Yes, good. Right? Very good reference. So chic. Audrey Hepburn, not Harry Potter, which yes. is what we're going for here. Right. A couple of things you have to remember when wearing these. Always a pant. Please don't wear a dress with it. Again, no, don't we get, wear a dress. Over, right. Then you look like flying nun. Or, seriously. <laughs> right. No flying no nun. Flying nun. <laughs> this is chic. It's buttoned up. It's very French. We've got the skinny basic legging, basic white shirt. But when you pop this over the top, it elevates the whole look instantaneously. It's stunning. Right? Like, seriously, don't you have coat envy? Also? Coat <laughs> envy. And let's always use a bag with a handle. Because a shoulder bag with a cape, it doesn't work. All of these looks, every single one, head to toe, we did a sweep at Hudson Yards and everything is from there and available. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> Literally a one-stop shop at Hudson Yards. Thank you to Zana. I didn't know that you guys went shopping at Hudson Yards. That's, oh, yeah. that's very cool. We love, we love a quick trip there. Certainly on an it list for 2020.